This community update was brought to you by You Multicultural. As climate change disrupts weather patterns in Manitoba, industries face increasing uncertainty. AI offers a promising solution. Winnipeg-based Weather Logics sees the potential in employing AI to improve forecasting precision. Scott Kaler, president and chief scientist at Weather Logics, explains. And what AI is able to do is it's able to figure out how the weather is going to change in the future without actually knowing necessarily what these equations are. You just give it all the data and it figures out on its own how it's going to change in the future. And so this is allowing us to discover new things because sometimes the equations we use have to be simplified in order for us to actually put them through the computer, whereas AI, you don't need to simplify it. You just give it the data and it will figure it out. Though AI has shown promise in certain forecasting areas, short-term forecasting is still more accurate using traditional methods. These rely on numerical weather prediction models, which input physics equations into supercomputers to simulate future weather. This method has been the foundation of weather forecasting for decades. But Kaler believes AI may soon surpass these models as technology advances. Now, there's still some work to be done because for certain things like short-term forecasting, forecasting heavy rain or snow, they're still maybe not quite as good as our current approaches. But these models are developing so rapidly and the whole AI field is developing so rapidly that it wouldn't surprise me if that changed very quickly. AI could be essential in anticipating extreme weather events across industries like agriculture, insurance, and transportation. Severe rainstorms and droughts have increased, and it's affecting farmers. This year we saw that the winter was relatively dry. We didn't get a huge amount of snow, but then come spring, early summer, it actually did turn really wet for a while. Later in summer, it really dried out again, and now in fall so far it has been fairly dry but we just saw a big rain event so farmers are having trouble i think more so just dealing with all these extremes and that's a trend that we're seeing a lot in manitoba where you know just in recent years we've gone from the wettest year on record to the driest year almost back to back and these are things that are potentially new and could cause a lot of difficulty in planning going forward without reliable weather forecasts farmers face crop failure while insurance companies struggle to price accurately. As weather patterns shifts, premiums rise, and coverage may become harder to obtain, adding financial strain to Winnipeggers and all Manitoba residents. These companies need to understand what the risk of severe weather events are, and if the risk of those events keeps changing over time, it makes it very hard for them to plan you know, what their pricing should be, and the impact of that to the customer is quite negative because over time what that means is the price of insuring things is going to get more and more expensive and for some people it might get so expensive that they can't afford it anymore. As for this winter, Kaler is unsure how the La Nina will affect things but says the minus 40 temperatures that Winnipeggers often speak about could become a thing of the past, with Winnipeg only hitting minus 40 once in about the last 15 years. Whether or not these weather events become a trend is something Kaler is watching closely. You're listening to You Radio, where diverse voices connect. Stay tuned for more stories and insights that matter. With You Multicultural and the Local Journalism Initiative, I'm Ryan Funk.